Leave the varnish to cure fully for at least six hours, depending on your chosen formula. MIG weathering powders offer a wide variety of shades, although the majority are presented with a military-themed branding. However, a small selection of rail-oriented shades are included, and besides, powders should be chosen by their colour rather than what's written on the lid. For this limestone hopper, a selection of grey and stone-coloured powders will be employed, along with earthy browns for the ubiquitous shade of track dirt some of the powder, leaving the heavier deposits around the edges. The process also creates subtle streaking effects, adding a broader tonal range to the cleaner areas for even greater realism. It helps to brush on a little more micro set to keep the transfer flexible while making any adjustments. Microsol is a stronger formula, which acts to soften the transfer film and allow it to mould itself over uneven surfaces, whereby most of the paint is wiped off the brush before application, further tonal variety can be built up. Keeping the brush strokes light and in line with the wood's grain, some subtle but effective results can be obtained. Enhanced interiors is stark, showing just what 30 minutes or so of work can achieve. The main limitation of weathering washers is that the dilute pigments are not opaque enough to work effectively on very dark surfaces, especially black underframes. But having already sprayed the model with a matte varnish, the deep luster of the paintwork, redolent of steam age stock, is easy to recreate with T-Cut Automotive Finish Restorer. With a little of the fluid on a swab, rub it gently into the carriage side, working on a small area at a time. Fine abrasive particles within the void to remove most of the paint, working in vertical streaks to leave traces around the raised or recessed detail. Change to a clean swab regularly for best results. Another positive of the pre-shading technique is the lack of masking required, even when painting the underframe. Here, a mix of life color frame dirt and weathered black is being sprayed directly to the chassis with any open. The technique can easily be tailored to create differing amounts of chipping and peeling effects. Experimenting with different types of brushes, sponges or swabs also achieves different results removing as much or as little of the livery paint as desired. 